What is up everybody? We're doing like a little vlog today. Last day at this crib. We need to move these tanks to the other house. All right, so we're emptying my 55 gallon cichlid tank. Got this old hose and it just siphoned it out. Look, here's a rat. Bella. And here's Mr. Rambo. Pa. All right, so now it's good level water. There's like two, three inches in there. And now we gotta take out the rocks, put it in this bucket. The rocks alone is like 30, 40 pounds. They're each like maybe two pounds. And there's like, I don't know, 15 of them. Gotta be careful with these dudes. Had them for like two years. The yellow ones were the very first ones in here. I got them at Petco. There's two electric yellows, one orange one, a bumblebee, and then two other yellow ones, like the striped ones. I'm not sure where they went. Oh yeah, they like to dig a lot, so they're under the rocks. Muggies! Muggies! She got hops. All that's left is sand, water, the fish, and poop. All right, got some of my fishing poles, the two micro rods, two bait casters, and then two surf rods, and then there's another spinning one. Spinning combo. Oh, this one's just a rod, a Daiwa. And then maybe we can get this one. Yeah, it's a Abu Garcia loose combo. Trucks loaded. And then this car's loaded. And then these go in like. <sighs> Alright. That's that. Now I need two surf rods. Um, this one's a broken one. I don't know why I still have that. And then, oh, here's the Tsunami Airwave, the good one. And then 12 foot Okuma Rockaway. Oh yeah, and then there's like a, the OG. The Flueger Trion spinning reel. All right, let's do one at a time. First is the Akuma. Then it's the, oh snap, then it's the Tsunami. And the Trion. Make sure I don't break one. And that's that. We're at the other crib now, got the gear. And unload all this give you a little sneak peek of what's in here then there's my kayak so this is how this looks like right now we're just throwing everything in here and then the the other house thing is back here the mobile home is back there and then there's like a pond right here. There's a lot of tadpoles right now. Let's see if I can grab one real quick. Oh yeah, look, here's one. <laughs> there's like a ton in here. Probably hundreds in here. Last time I was here for like 10 minutes and I caught like 20. But yeah, look. They still don't have their legs yet. And then I just throw them in there. All right, here are my rods. There's like this other room over here. This is where I plan to store all my gear and all that. Tie some lures in here. Maybe start pouring soft plastics in here. You see, it's like this room. Oh yeah. 
And then there's like this other room right here. Uh, down, and open it. And there's like this other room in here where we can store stuff. Where's the light? Oh, there's the light. Yeah, this one's like perfect to store my gear and probably just make a little tying area. All right, here's some other poles. Those are like the first ones that I ever got. Yeah, they all used to have these covers. I don't know where all these covers went. Yeah, I think that one's like a 14 footer. That one's pretty dope to catch catfish below the dam. But yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. Um, I'll probably make more videos if y'all like these type of videos. Showing how I transformed this into like a little fishing room, man cave or something. All right, we're back at this crib. We gotta take the fish out now. Shouldn't be too harsh since there's not that much water in there for them to escape. All right, who's first? I like the yellow ones. I feel like the yellow ones are my favorite. Oh, snap. Chill. All right, orange dude first. Easy. Look at this dude. Oh, it's not. I almost dropped him. I got him though. Yeah, like. Oh my. Oh my gosh, no. All right, all right there. Never mind. But yeah, I got a glimpse of him or her. I don't know what it is. All right, the, I like these yellow ones. These yellow ones are chill. This one's the very first one ever. That's two. Let's get that other yellow one. All right. Oh, what's that? Yeah, see. Pretty dope. Let's get the black and yellow one. The male, this one's a male for sure. Easy. All right, I got him. This one was all yellow at first, and then he changed to like this black color. He got darker. Pretty nice. Yeah, they were both yellow, like bright yellow. And then the dominant one turns black and turns into a male. Here's the female. Easy. See, this one's all yellow. I mean, whoop. now time for the biggest one, the bumblebee. That one's freaking aggressive. He's killed like most of my fish. There used to be a lot more when I first got this tank. And then this one, this one's like the alpha. Easy, easy. Oh snap. Look at this, the bumblebee, he gets bright black. He turns black almost when he's like aggressive or like turned on. But yes, sir. Whoop. And that's it. Now I gotta take off the hoses, the lights, and the cables. I'm gonna just put everything over here. And. Alright, and that's all the cables and hoses. Now, just gotta load it up. I wonder how heavy this is. I mean, it still has like a bit of water and sand. I think it's like three bags of sand. All right, I just threw some food in there for them because food makes everyone happy. You can see their colors more, especially that bumblebee. They seem all right. I get all the fish tank. All right, so the fish are still good. 
the tank is in the back of the car I right, hear the sneak peek of how it looks like and then my room is gonna be over here I'm gonna put the tank right here got the filter and stand in but yes sir we gotta put the tank in now got the tank in now we're gonna get those water hose All right, so we filled it up and I just connected the lights. So let's see how it looks like. Looks all right. Pretty cloudy, but the filter will clean that up. Dang, it's dirty, but I'll clean it eventually. So I need to warm it up because that water's pretty cold. And then I need to add the conditioner thing to make it safe, safer for the freshwater fish. I'm gonna put some cichlid pH, just two of these, two teaspoons. Yeah, I know. Tienes que esperar para que caliente. Uh huh. Alright, so here are the fish. Hopefully, they don't die. I don't really trust the water at this new place. But I put conditioning and all that good stuff. Can you see me or not? Move, Rumbos! Oh, yeah, I gotta. I'm not used to having a fan. Oh, there we go. With Mr. Rambo. Hey! That's fish food! Oh, yeah, but it's like a few hours later, maybe like. Two hours later, but look at them now, swimming and happy. To be honest, I didn't really think they were gonna make it. That water looked a little, little sketchy. A lot of bubbles. I guess I see a lot of bubbles. I'm not sure why, why that happens, but yes, sir. They look, they look acclimated. Rhombus. All right, so that's it for this video. But if y'all want to see more, like blog style videos just let me know below thank you for watching see you on the next one